Sewer rates could soon increase in the city of Paso Robles. Let's get you up to speed. Two years ago, a consultant was hired to study the city's sewer rates. They determined that due to the city's operating costs combined with decreases in revenue, it was time for the city to raise its rates. The last increase was nearly five years ago. In February of this year, all city sewer customers were notified of the opportunity to protest the sewer, uh, sewer rates in writing. KSBY News reporter Alexa Bertola explains what comes next. Sewer rates could increase by 56% over the next five years in the city of Paso Robles. Now Tuesday marks the community's last day to protest this proposed increase during a public hearing. Flushing the toilet, taking a shower and washing your hands could soon cost more in the city of Paso Robles. I read my that the rates are going to go up and like, oh no, okay, so there's a little more, you know. Roughly 10,346 city sewer customers could be affected by the hike, some of whom say they're already paying enough. I already have a low flow shower and uh, what little laundry I do costs me a pretty penny every month. It would take a majority of the customers to protest the proposed rate increases. At this point, We've received about 250 uh, written protests. If enough people do not protest come Tuesday, rates will increase 24% on July 1st, followed by 8% increases for the next four years after that. The average customer pays 46 bucks right now, but by July 1st, that would mean 58 bucks, and by 2025, they'd be shelling out $76 or 30 bucks more. Some say they'll have to make changes. I can't grow anything. It cost me more to grow a tomato bush in water than it does to go buy a tomato. Others say it won't affect their lifestyle too much. I try to conserve water. I uh, don't, you know, have a front lawn, things like that. But for those on a fixed income or who even lost their job during COVID, it's going to be more of a struggle. I think the percentage that is of the rate increases a lot. And I also think that the timing right now when people are having so much problem, there's some people that can't pay their rent. Matt Thompson, wastewater resources manager, says the city has upgraded the treatment plant twice since its last increase in 2016. Our costs have increased. During that same time, Templeton Community Services District has disconnected from the city sewer system, and so the city has seen a decline in revenue. The city says, however, the proposed increases will generate roughly two to four million dollars a year. By the end of the evening on Tuesday, we'll learn if the sewer rates will increase. In Paso Robles, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. And here is a look at the average monthly sewage rates for homeowners along the central coast. Paso Robles sits right in the middle of the pack, around $47 a month on a usage charge. The average homeowner in Santa Maria is paying about $25.50 a month. Meanwhile, people in Morro Bay and Cayucas are paying the most.